Well, thanks for taking time today to dwell in the presence of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit on this uh, fifth week of Lent uh, as you make some space for Sabbath rest, just some margin in your life. Uh, I encourage you to find a comfortable spot to sit quietly with the music, the scriptures, the prayers direct you into the sustaining presence of our loving Father, grace-filled Son, and the comforting Holy Spirit. So breathe deep and listen in to our opening song here. For the beauty of the earth, we've entered into a, a bit more of a spring-like season and uh, we want to give thanks for what the Lord has given to us.
Lord, let my soul rise up to meet you. As the day rises to meet the sun, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm reading today is from Psalm 119, verses 9 to 16. How can a young person stay on the path of purity by living according to your word? I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Praise be to you, Yahweh. Teach me your decrees. With my lips I recount all the laws that come from your mouth. I rejoice in following your statutes, as one rejoices in great riches. I meditate on your precepts, and I consider your ways. I will not neglect your word. It's a word of just ruminating, of meditating, of letting the word of God, the scriptures uh, speak into our lives and letting them shape our minds and our thoughts and our habits and our practices. The gospel reading today is from John chapter 12, verses 34 to 50. The crowd spoke up. We have heard from the law that the Messiah will remain forever. So how can you say the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Then Jesus told them, You're going to have the light just a little while longer. Walk while you have the light before darkness overtakes you. Whoever walks in the dark does not know where they are going. Believe in the light while you have the light, so that you may become children of light. When he had finished speaking, Jesus left and hid himself from them. This passage comes from the actually the Holy Week, uh, the days shortly before his crucifixion. Even after Jesus had performed so many signs in their presence, they still would not believe in him. This was to fulfill the word of Isaiah the prophet, Lord, who has believed our message, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For this reason they could not believe, because, as Isaiah says elsewhere, he has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts, so they can neither see with their eyes nor understand with their hearts, nor turn, and I would heal them. Now Isaiah said this because he saw Jesus' glory and spoke about him. Yet at the same time, many even among the leaders believed in him. But because of the Pharisees, they would not openly acknowledge their faith for fear that they would be put out of the synagogue, for they loved human praise more than praise from God. Then Jesus cried out, Whoever believes in me does not believe in me only, but in the one who sent me. The one who looks at me is seeing the one who sent me. I've come into the world as a light, so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. Anyone hears my words, but does not keep them. I do not judge that person, for I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. There is a judge for the one who rejects me and does not accept my words. The very words I've spoken will condemn them at the last day. For I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me to say all I have spoken. I know that his command leads to eternal life. So whatever I say is just what the Father has told me to say. So that's the connection between our Psalms passage of uh, uh, meditating on the words and Jesus saying, the words that I've spoken, these are the way to, to life, to light, to lead you out of darkness. And we need to pay attention to the words of Jesus. So Jesus uh, asked us, taught us to pray a prayer in a certain way. So let's pray together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now let this song, our second song here, Come Light Our Hearts. May it encourage you. Join us. Now may the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our fellowship. The Lord be with you, friends. Take care. <laughs>